Hey guys, good morning, happy summer. Hey, this summer, we're gonna be looking for a few of you guys to share with us things that you love to do. I'm hanging out here at the skate park right now because Micah loves to skate park. But we are gonna have room for about, you know, 10 or 12 kids to introduce our summer Rizu videos. So let me or Chris Householder know if you are interested or your son or daughter may be interested in filming something may not be able to get everybody, but we'd love to get one new kid each week to introduce our summer reruns. So uh, feel free to email me or talk to me or Chris Householder, and we'd love to hear what you love to do, especially in the summertime. Hi, my name's Micah, and I love Scooter. Welcome to the Summer Rizzo reruns. In today's story, Chaz learns how to put others first. So we better get going. 99! 100! Whoop! Oh! oh my goodness gracious. Hey guys, uh, how's it going? That's right, it's church day. Man, I'm pumped about it. And story time is coming up. My kangaroo buddy just hit 100. New record, amazing. Things have just been happening like crazy. And we got a pretty crazy story for you here in just a second. So let us get into it hope you're worshiping with your crew that's around you in some pretty sweet ways so let's see here oh yeah the memory verse you guys remember it come on we've been doing it for a couple weeks it's out of philippians two three and it goes like this don't do anything only to get ahead don't do it because you're proud instead be humble value others more than yourselves humility can be defined like this you ready putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. And that's what our story is gonna be about today. Let me pray. God, thank you for this incredible opportunity to connect with these people from all these different places, to focus in on the story that you have for us, to focus in on the opportunity of humility that you model and extend to each one of us. I pray for these young boys and girls that you will just root them in you for the rest of their lives in the power of Jesus, amen. Okay guys, this particular story takes place out on the trail where Timmy Smith and Chuz the donkey are training for the Iron Donkey 5000. You ready? Come on, let's go. <laughs> this is awesome, said Chuz. He was training for the Iron Donkey 5000 and Chuz had just gotten started with Timmy Smith. Okay, uh, you're doing good there, Chuz. Uh, way to kind of keep a pace, you know, you don't want to go too fast. And, oh, I got this, said Chuz back to Timmy Smith. He's like, this is amazing. I'm a little donkey with all my hooves, just sprinting as fast as I could. And he was just running around. He was so pumped. See, they've been running for, well, you know, quite a while. Uh, about 30 seconds. <laughs> Anyways, Chuz was so pumped. Timmy Smith was like, hey, pace yourself. So Chuz was doing his best to pace himself, but he was so pumped. <gasps> yeah! Just cranking it out, going as fast as he could. And Timmy Smith was like, hey, calm down, calm down. About two minutes later. <laughs> Timmy Smith, I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Said Chuz. You didn't tell me it was going to be this hard. <sighs> well, well, said Timmy Smith, I think it's important that you pace yourself. And I kind of, I think you're at a good pace. Maybe you can pick it up just a little bit. And he's like, no, I can't. I can't do it anymore. I think I've gone as far as I can go, said Chuz. Well, I mean, you really haven't gone that far, said uh, Timmy Smith. It's like parking lots just, you know, few feet back there. We've really only gone about 412 feet. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I was cut out to do this iron donkey. I'm more of like a, a plastic donkey. I think, said Chuz. Timmy Smith was trying to encourage him and, and keep him going forward. And when you're running and training, it can take a long time and Especially when you're walking as slow as these guys were and Timmy Smith was trying to encourage him to run but he really wasn't running very fast and finally they just kind of slowed down. And Timmy Smith was like, all right, Chuz, come on, you can do this. And uh, Chuz was like, I cannot do this. And anyways, they had a chance to kind of 
take a breath a little bit and Chose was sitting there. Life was kind of feeling a little bit hopeless, you know? When you've been doing something that goes on and on and on and on and on and forever and ever and ever and Chose had felt like you'd been training forever and sometimes you start thinking about life and you're like, I don't know. And Chose started remembering the story from last week and he's like, Timmy Smith, I was thinking about that story you told me, you know, the one about Jesus and how he put us first and he went to the cross. That was crazy. And then he rose from the grave and he was just always thinking about us people. And well, I've got to admit something to you, Timmy Smith. What's that? I said Timmy Smith back to Chess. <clears throat> I'm not very good at putting others first. I mean, I'm pretty good at putting myself first. And yeah, but I don't think that's what Jesus is saying. And Timmy Smith's like, well, you're not that bad. I mean, uh, why do you think you're so bad? He's like, well, <laughs> you remember that uh, donut line they had the other day for kids? You can go up there, you can get a donut, you know? And they said, get one donut. I got more than one donut. I actually got 27 donuts. Uh, 27 donuts. Didn't you know we were gonna be training for the Iron Donkey? He's like, yeah, I figured maybe the donuts would give me extra energy, you know? And so I figured I should eat more of them. And yeah, that was a bad idea, said uh, Timmy Smith. I don't think that was the way you trained. And what about all those kids that were in line? Did they all get donuts? They did not. Somebody ate all the donuts, said Chuz. Well, that was probably you, said uh, Timmy Smith. He's like, I know, I know. I'm just not good at it. I'm good at putting myself first. Tell you what, said Timmy Smith. Why don't we take a break right here and uh, let's eat some of those snacks. Um, <clears throat> well, said Chuz, I uh, would love for you to be able to eat some of the snacks. Unfortunately, Chuz, did you already eat the snacks? Mm, uh, yeah, said Chuz, I kind of ate them all back in the parking lot. I just figured, you know, once again, you know, pre-energy is kind of more important than like during energy. Oh man, said Timmy Smith. You know, we do have quite a bit to learn, but here's one thing I know. Jesus came to earth and he made himself a servant and he was God's son. I mean, he was perfect. We're not perfect, Chuz, but I do know Humility is something you learn about. And as you surrender to God, the opportunities to practice putting others first, they just kind of happen. For now, let's get back to running. Are you ready? We've got this steep hill to go up. Are you ready? Here we go. Uh, sure. All right, here we go. Jess was running up this hill. He wasn't doing too good. They were going up higher. And then suddenly, help! did you hear something? Uh, I don't think so, said Timmy Smith. He's like, wait a minute, help! <gasps> they could hear somebody screaming for help. They were down this cliff. He's like, well, let's go check it out. So they started running down the cliff because they could hear somebody yelling, help, help! And they're like, oh my goodness, we gotta get there. <laughs> oh. And they got over here and they're like, Oh, oh, what's going on? There was this little boy and he's there. He's like, oh, can you please help me? I was playing with my buddy and we were playing ball and the ball kind of got away from my buddy and it rolled down the cliff and my buddy ran after it and now he fell over the side. But he grabbed onto the edge and he needs somebody to grab and I'm too tiny. Can you guys help? Timmy Smith was like, Chuz, you should go help. And Chuz was like, I, I don't think I want to. But Timmy Smith was like, I'm going. And so Tim, Timmy Smith ran down and he got to the edge of the cliff. Then he kind of looked over and he's like, oh man, there he is. Okay, I'm gonna reach down and grab him. So Timmy Smith stretched his forward to go and reach down. But he couldn't reach him. He's like, Chuz, I need you to hold my hand. And Chuz was like, oh, I might fall. Cause he looked down and there was water all the way down at the bottom. He's like, uh, I don't really like water, said Chuz. And Timmy Smith is like, Chuz, just grab my hand. This kid's gonna slip and fall. And Chuz was like, okay. So he held out his hoof and Timmy Smith grabbed onto his hoof. And then with his other hand, he reached out as far as he could. He's like, you gotta stretch, Chuz. And so Chuz tried to stretch out and Chuz stretched as far as he could. And Timmy Smith stretched as far as he could. And the little boy down below was like, oh, a little farther, a little farther. And Timmy Smith was like, grab my hand. 
grab my hand. And the little boy tried to grab his hand with his other hand that was loose. And his hand got a little closer. And Timmy Smith got a little closer. And Timmy Smith started to touch his hand. And Chess is like, do you have him yet? And Ch Timmy Smith is like, almost, almost. And the boy grabbed his hand. And then, pop. The boy's other hand popped off, and his grip kind of started loosening on Timmy Smith, and <gasps> the boy had fallen into the water, falling back behind. Chuz is like, oh no, and he turned and he looked, and something just went up inside of Chuz, and he's like, don't worry, little fella, I got you, here you go. Chuz swam out there, and he's like, don't worry, little guy. Just swim out there, and he got this kid, and he picked him up his arms. He's like, I don't wear that guy, and I held him like this. And he started swimming back as fast as he could, and he got back to shore. And he's like, Oh my goodness, it's so cold. And the little boy's like, Oh, it hate me so much. And Timmy Smith was up and down. He's like, Charles, what you do? And Charles was like, I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know. I just realized that that boy needed help, and even though I don't like water, I just, I just needed to go help him out. And Timmy Smith was like, Chuz, you just showed humility. You just put that kid first. And you went in after him and you saved him. Dude, that's what Jesus did. Chuz was so pumped. He's like, yeah, I'm you mumble person. And then he's like, it was a really, really cold. Timmy Smith, can we go back to the car? Timmy Smith said, sure, let's get back to the car. But it was pretty rad to see that Chuz Followed the example of Jesus, who was always putting other people first. And he put this kid first. And he saved his life at the same time. Wait, well, hey, let's get back and let's get on some warm clothes. Come on, let's go. Oh man, that was quite the rescue. I'll tell you what, I think Chuz, he's learning not just to be an Iron Donkey champion, but he's learning about being a champion of humility and putting others first. Because Jesus puts us first. It's an amazing thing to model and it will change your life. It will also change your home as you learn how to do this better and better and better. So here's the challenge, you ready? Today, look for a moment to put somebody in your home or somebody else beside yourself first and it will change your life. I gotta go change my life by seeing if Mr. Kangaroo can get up to 200 this time with his flips. All right, you guys, peace, later. I'm tired. Come take my center out. <laughs> <laughs>